بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم welcome to the new lecture of discrete mathematics today uh, we are going to study about permutation and combination so in this lecture first of all we need to know about the concept of permutation so coming to the definition of permutation uh, by words of k permutation so now you know about what is k so a k permutation of a set of uh, n element how many element we have total number of element is n is a selection of a k element let's say you have a start by you have all, all these is n element and how many element we need to select k element let's see one two three four these element uh, we are going to be taken or choosing so this is called k so it means taking a number of element from all n elements so so a key permutation of a set of n element is a selection of a k element from the set of n elements such that the order of element matches order is matter what does it mean by order order mean let's say you have a six let's see six so if you are coming to reduce the six it you need to be come to six five four three two one zero minus one minus two and so on so this is called order so order is matter in this condition okay but repetition of element is not allowed so you cannot write five two time you cannot write two two time or whatever repetition is not allowed so the number of a key permutation of a set of a n element is denoted by this formula so once you have a number of a n element so n element permutation and selection of k element so this is called a formula of permutation okay so some remarks we have for a permutation so with a key permutation repetition of element is not allowed this is the first thing and therefore what we can do that a selection of a element will always equal or less than the total number of element this is a formula you keep in mind that what is the basically the uh, reason what is basically the reason of a permutation k will always be less than or equal to n the second is the wording number of a permutation of a set with n element mean that all n element are to be permu permuted so that k is equal to n what does it mean let's say you have a word word mean like you have a pub okay if you are taking all five alphabet so it means k is equal to n because we have totally five and selection is Five, so k is equal to n. This is another case in a permutation. So in a in a per example, we will see that, and we will be get the actual uh, concept behind how we can solve and how we can choose the elements. So we have some uh, formula for k permutation. Like suppose a set of n element is given for a formation of a k permutation mean that we have an order selection of a k element out of an element so where element cannot be repeated so as i told you before the same thing Re repetition is not allowed so first element can be selected in n ways and mean whenever let's you have a n is equal to 6 okay let's you have a 6 so it means your starting will be from 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Second mean can be selected in n minus 1. So 6 minus 1 means 5. This will be a second. Second will be 5. Third will be n minus 2. It will be 4. Kit element can be selected at n is equal to k minus 1 base. Okay. So this is basically how you can write n permutation k. So let's come to the actual formula of permutation. So is we can write we can write n permutation k. So n will start so n so basically how we can write this we can write like n factorial. So in a permutation we can use factorial n factorial divided by n minus k factorial 
factorial okay this is basically a formula how you can write the permutation and the ab above is is the basically a proof that n n minus 1 n minus 2 into n minus k minus a, as i told you before here so this is the basically your k theorem so this is your k theorem so yeah, if you can solve this so your result will be this now so up to this it's fine now what we are going to do we are going to multiply and divide this value multiply and divide this value okay so when we are multiplying and dividing this value so so we can easily get n factorial divided by n minus k factorial so whenever somebody can ask you that n permutation with the k what should be your answer it should be n factorial divided by n minus k factorial so what is mean by n factorial n factorial mean let's see n is equal to 6 n is equal to 6 so it means 6 permutation so what is your k now let's see we say k is equal to 3 so it can be 6 permutation 3 so formula n factorial means 6 factorial divide by 6 minus 3 factorial then what we can do we can solve this one now so 6 factorial mean we can write 6 factorial like 6 multiply 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 multiply 0 factorial so up to 3 i'm saying that okay i can stop it here 3 factorial 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial okay so 3 factorial and 3 factorial is going to be cancel each other so one thing keep in mind that 0 factorial will always be equal to 1 keep in mind okay so if you can uh, find out 6 multiply with 5 is 30 30 multiply with 4 is 120 your answer is 120 so this was the proof that how n permutation k is equal to n factorial divided by n minus k factorial so let's come to the example exercise let's see how many two permutation are there how many permutation mean selection is two are there of w x y z our set is w x y z so total number of how many number we have total w 1 2 3 4 so n is equal to 4 and what is k now 2 because he sent 2 permutation so okay so a formula is n permutation with k so n is 4 per k is 2 so 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 2 factorial so simplified out 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 factorial for 2 is going to be cancel each other so this is your answer now so how we can make a permutation so we can make wx wy wz x w x y x z then and so on so at the end we can see we have one two three four four multiplied the twelve we have a twelve combination so basically the permutation is just like a combination of our elements coming to another like we have a p eight three and is eight k is three and so on so it coming to the solution so we have 8 3 so can we write down 8 permutation 3 so can 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 3 factorial simplified out and your answer will be this then come to the p8 8 so 0 factorial always equal to 1 so 8 factorial so you need to write 8 multiply 7 multiply 6 multiply 5 4 3 2 1 multiplied out your result will be then 8 minus 1 solve it out so now d is p6 like we have a 6 permutation 8 so is it possible so is it not possible because n is less than k coming to another like we have find n f permutation n 2 is equal to 72 so need we need to find this one what we need to find it out n so what is n now so n permutation 2 so we can write at n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial so if you if you remember that so we can write n factorial into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and so on so we can write this 
so this is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 so at here I want to be stop then n minus 2 factorial so n minus 2 factorial and n minus 2 is going to be cancel each other so result will be n into n minus 1 is equal to 72 so now you can solve it out so n square minus n 72 so it can so you can factorize it so your n is 9 and minus 8 so we need always to have a positive value of a element so so in here we need to have a 9 because minus 8 is a negative value so that's why we are not going to take a negative value so we always have a positive value and we have a positive elements okay this is the basic level how we can solve the permutation question this simply simple method is just reduce your n by minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on so another example is p n 4 which is equal to 42 p n 2 so let's come to this one now so come to this example like given is p and 4 is equal to 42 p and 2 so again the same thing can be applied let's see we have a uh, n p 4 so we can write n factorial divide by n minus 4 factorial so now we need to open n factorial up to n minus 4 so n factorial into n minus 1 factorial into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into n minus 4 factorial so n minus 4 factorial and n minus 4 factorial like we can write like this 2 3 and n minus 4 up to factorial and divide by n minus 4 4 factorial so n minus 4 factorial n minus 4 is going to be cancelled so what can be happen n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 okay and the same thing can be applied here okay so it is up to n into n minus 2 so our result can be like if you can see n p n p 2 so n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial so open n factor into n minus 2 n minus 2 n minus 2 will be cancelled the result will be n into n minus 1 so simplify this equation now so n minus 1 n minus 1 is going to be cancelled n into n is going to be cancelled remain is this one factorize it so you got n is equal to 9 n minus 4 so again the same thing we need to have a positive value so we have a 9 so coming to this example prove that, that all integer n is greater than or equal to 3 so this is our basically left and right hand side we need to prove it so let's see taking our left hand side left hand is equal to n plus 1 in 3 into like we have this formula okay so open this now so n pins you go n plus 1 3 so n plus 1 like you can write n plus 1 permutation with 3 so it can be n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1 and minus 3 factorial so once we are going to open this so this is n plus 1 so n plus 1 then minus 1 then it can be n then so on then n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and so on so and this equal to n minus 2 factorial so open this n factorial into n minus 2 so n minus 2 factorial n minus 2 will go to be cancel each other so the in the result we have n plus 1 multiply with n into n minus 1 okay then minus will be same here then simplify this one up to n minus 3 so result will be n into n minus 1 n minus 2 because n minus 3 factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial will be there so it's going to be uh, cancel each other so 
this will be your minus. So now simplify this equation. Simplify this equation at the result you can be get three into n into n minus one. So this is equal to three. Permutation with n into n n two. So this is basically a proof. So a right hand side. Now this is your right hand side. So now uh, left hand side and right hand side are equal. So this is basically a proof how we can prove left hand side is equal to right hand side. So coming to the next example, how many way can can five of letter of the word algorithm be selected and written in the row? So how many way can five of letter? We need to have a five of elements. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a n is equal to nine and k is equal to five. So coming to the example, n is nine and five. Simply, simply solve it out. Then for uh, for b, n is seven and three. So this is your answer. Okay. So this is simple method how we can simplify a permutation. But keep in mind, what is a permutation? Permutation is just like a combination of a words, combination of a number, combination of a words, or a combination of algorithms. Coming to another example, find the number of a way that a party of a seven person can arrange themselves in a row of seven chairs. So how many person we have? N is equal to seven, and how many? Rows we need to have seven, so n is seven and p is, uh, k is seven. So simply, so result is seven factorial. So now open the seven factorial by seven multiply six multiply five four three two one. So multiply it and whatever you got, that will be your answer. So coming to the another example, it is saying that a debating team consists of three boys and two girls. Find the number of n ways. They can sit in a row if the boy and girl are each to sit together. So solution is there are two ways to distribute them according to the sex. Let's see how we can distribute. We can say we have a three by so on and based on sex we can say boys, 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 then you can say girl, girl, girl. So we can also be write like this that girl, 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 then boys, boys, boys. So this up to probability how we can make. But based on the sex we can make it like this. We can also, if you can say this, boy, girl, boy, girl, girl, boy, girl, boy, boy, like this way we can make it. But in this case, we can make like this. So in each case, like how many boys we have, we have a three boys. So the boys can sit in a row in, so n is three. How many boys we have a three. So how, what can be the possibility of, so we can say, okay, k is equal to three. We have a three row. We can say like that. So three rows when we are uh, finding it, so it can be three factorial, so six ways. So how the boys can sit in a different way, so it can be six ways. So the girl can sit in, so we have how many girls? We have two. So total number of girls is two, so again we can be sitting in, two, in the two rows. So what should be the permutation? It can be two ways. So so basically we need to find the total number of ways so how so how the boy and girl can we sit each other so in this case so if you can say let's say in this one two so how many uh, rows we can have two so boy 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 girl 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 and girl girl boy 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 so each row consists of boy and girl which is two pictorial okay and two pictorial to two so the total number of uh, so what should be the boys? Boys was three factorial. What should the girl? Girl was two factorial, and and total number of rows is two. So if you can multiply with it, so we have twenty four ways that how we can sit or how the boys and girl can sit together. So coming to another example, an example is that find the number of uh, n ways data five large books four small medium books and three small books can be placed on the shelf so that all books of the same size are together so again the same thing is for a large book first of all so for a large total number of uh, books is five so how uh, what should be the number of uh, uh, 
please so it can be like this five permutation with a five so the medium size book is with this one so this is for the large ones five factorial divided by five minus five factorial which is equal to zero factorial so for a large book we have five factorial ways same, same for the medium book again four to four you choose four factorial and for a small we have a three three so it will be three factorial ways so now if we have three different size of book large medium and small so for a three different size of book we need to have a three blocks okay so for that we need to have a three blocks so for a three block can we so you can say this can be three factorial so in, in a, on a shelf you can have a three block for a three different size of book so so what should be the total number of a vr how so it can be five factorial multiply four factorial multiply three factorial this is basically the way number of a way of size book but again one thing more which is needed how many block we have three so three factorial so this is your required answer so this was your lecture about permutation so you guys can watch it out if you have any question so kindly raise your question and i will be try to answer that so thank you for your time see you in the next lecture